Okay, good afternoon. You're on Let's Agree to Agree and this is your friendly neighborhood common sense coach, Coach Tony. Okay, so um, last week, ang napag-usapan natin uh, is about food security. Or rather, uh, dito kasi sa amin, yung, yung team namin, ano, we seek to inform regarding critical issues, important issues, urgent issues regarding our food situation, no? So, last week, we discussed about a serious look in Philippine agriculture and food sustainability and security. Okay? And, uh, this week, tutuloy natin yung talk na yun. Uh, you know? And, uh, also last week, uh, we had a Zoom meeting. Okay? Finiture natin yung Zoom meeting with Gardening for Food in the Philippines group with Miss Tess Martin and her team, si uh, Rev, uh, Jomelin, uh, Margie, and Marcelo. Hi, guys! So, um, for this week naman, we're gonna be featuring part 2 of our Zoom meeting with them. Okay? So, makikita natin yung, yung mga home farms nila, mga garden farms nila. So, you'll see where they're getting, you know, an abundance of healthy, fresh, and free food. Okay, practically free. The you know the cost of seeds lang and uh, and uh, little soil and sunlight, di ba? So, but for now, we're gonna continue our talk uh, about our country's food security. Okay, with today entitled "Common Problems of Filipino Farmers." Okay, so important malaman natin yung mga yun eh, di ba? We have to address the problem so that we can arrive at a solution. So. Ano ba mga problems? Number one, of course, it's the lack of capital. Yeah, that's the most, that's the most obvious. Okay, from uh, anything from uh, from pinakaumpisa man lang, which is uh, the preparation of the soil, yung mga pagsasaka, yung mga cost of chemicals, mga ganyan, no? Uh, even the cost of the seeds or the cost of yung mga punla, seedlings or whatever, kung ano man yung kailangan nila, most Filipinos, uh, you know, are, are uh, you know, they don't have enough capital for this. Uh, even up until, you know, uh, maintaining the produce or uh, taking care of their land and even up until the uh, the uh, product delivery or, or when the harvest pa, di ba? So this is a widespread problem, especially amongst small farmers, yung maliliit ang mga areas. So, okay, thing is, government assistance is available. Okay? Yun lang, the large majority of them are unable to avail of this financing or this assistance uh, specifically because of two factors. One is, hindi nila alam, lack of awareness. They don't know that it's there. They don't know how to get it. You know, or they, they, they don't even know. Okay? So, uh, we need to be able to inform each and every small farmer that there is this facility by the government para matulungan sila sa kanilang pagsasaka. Number two, it's hard to access. Okay? Uh, minsan, mga remote areas yung mga farms, so hindi sila basta-basta nakakapunta to certain rural areas or to certain rural centers where they can avail of the financing. Okay? Now I don't know what the uh, the agency involved is doing, but there should be easier access for this. And then there's also this saying that you know uh, I don't know if it's true yet, but um, certain entities may be um, making it harder for them to access this financing or this capitalization or assistance from the government. So that's so sad because these are the poorest of the poor. These are the the most needful of our brothers and sisters in the rural area. So, sana naman wag guys, uh, let's let's try to give, you know, as easy as we can, uh, you know, ibigay natin yung mga yan, para sa kanila yan eh. Okay? So, they deserve it and they need it. So, you know, we're all answerable, not only to man, but to God. Okay? Kung meron kang iniipit na pera para sa ibang tao and you're not giving it to them, Wow, karma yan, guys. So anyway, uh, okay, what else? The number two problem is education. Okay, I, I call our educational system, which is patterned after the uh, the Western style of education, as a cookie cutter thing. Ibig sabihin, parang, parang you know, pak, 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 pak. We seek 
to produce more of the same, you know, in the same te template. You know, it's all in structure. We want to create, you know, uh, new employees or whatever. Okay, and I'm not really a fan of that uh, because a lot of talents, a lot of things, a lot of jobs that the world needs is not actually being taught by this cookie cutter system. So, one of that is agriculture. Okay, pag bata pa lang, makikita mo ang nino-nurture, ang, ang mga nagiging ano tuloy ng mga bata, ang gusto nilang dream, gusto nilang maging policeman, gusto nilang maging astronaut, gusto nilang maging doktor, gusto lawyer, or whatever, di ba? Engineer, di ba? They wanna go abroad, or whatever. Very few would even dream about becoming a farmer. Okay? Or to continue their, their farming practice, di ba? So, you know, parang, parang nada-downplay. Okay? Nati-trivialize ang pagiging magsasaka. But in my opinion, the farmer is probably one of the top one or two most important jobs in a certain country. Because pag walang farmer, walang pagkain. Okay? So, we have to put the farmer on a pedestal. Especially on our educational system. Okay? So, even because of this thing, because minamalita mga farmers, the farmers themselves, the farmer parents themselves, they discourage the children from becoming farmers. One, because napakahirap maging farmer. Pinapahirapan ka pa, diba? So, sorry ha, pero I hope, you know, uh, uh, local government and national government and agencies make it easier for farmers to do farming, to, to do their jobs, you know. Uh, okay. So, ayaw na ng mga parents na farmers, ang kanilang mga anak, to experience the same hardship as they did. We made it harder for them, guys. So, uh, it's a hard life for them. Tapos, ganun pang gagawin, di ba? So, anong gagawin ng parents? Anak, wag ka na mag-farmer, you know? Because mahirap na buhay ito. So, papaaraling kita para maging doktor ka or para maging engineer ka. Something else other than this. Because ayokong madaanan mo ang hirap na pinagdaanan ko. Okay? So, and then, pag, pag umaman ka na, ano, i-rescue mo na lang kami. Ano mangyayari sa farm? It gets converted to a freaking subdivision. Di ba? Ding, ding! Okay. So, whew, in education, ano pa ba? Because of all of these factors and, you know, personal, whatever, kung ano ba ng mga naging, ano, no, uh, um, uh, dynamics, na ang farmer, ang average educational attainment is grade 5. Okay? So, imagine this. Bata pa lang kasi yung mga farmer's children, nagtatrabaho na sila sa farm. Okay? Because the farmer, the parent farmers cannot afford to hire help. So, yung mga batang mga anak nila, they are forced to work the farms. Kundi wala eh. Wala silang pambayad eh. Okay? So this is really criminal the way we they, we are we are allowing our farmers to to have this kind of life. Okay, that's how passionately we are here to solve this problem. So, okay, number three problem is napakababa ng farm gate prices. Okay, I don't know, but I think a, uh, the fact that the people in charge of making the uh, the uh, or rather, with the hirap of raising and growing the food is actually way earning way lesser than those who are buying and selling it. So I think there's some disconnect there. So in my opinion, I think the farmer should at least get a fair deal out of the equation. Bakit? Magkano ang bigas? 40 pesos pinakamababa sa, sa market and sa, sa groceries, right? Magkano binibili sa kanila? 15 kung maswerte. Some of them even dumadive hanggang 10, 9 pesos. So again, that's another another disservice to our uh, you know, farmer brothers and sisters. So whew. So ang nangyayari nga, a lot of them are just dumping their their produce by the wayside. Di ba nakikita natin yung mga mga lettuce, mga kamatis or kung ano-ano pa man on the side of the road. Okay, na feature ang daming mga posts about that because the prices have really, you know, hindi na conducive. E, tinatapon na lang nila kaysa kaysa ibenta sa parang insultong presyo. Okay? And then the number 4 is acts of God. 
Okay, that's that's a constant thing here. Mga natural disasters from from La Nina, El Nino, floods, drought, or whatever. Most of this can actually be solved with you know you, uh, being having you know a a a pre-cut plan. Okay, like for example, better irrigation system para ma prevent ang effects ng drought. Okay, better uh, better flood management, planting trees upland para hindi bumababa ang water or soil. So that's that's you know uh, we can expound on that. Okay, but uh, we're just enumerating yung mga top level or yung mga ano yung mga yung mga skimming the surface kumbaga. So number five, the declining number and increasing ages of our farmers and agriculturists. So Whew, dahil sa hirap ng buhay, pagiging magsasaka, okay, and napakababa ng rewards, maraming farmers nagkukwit and they're discouraging their children from taking over being farmers or their family farm. Okay, yung iba basta nalang binibenta and then nagbabakasakali, nagpupunta ng Maynila para magbakasakaling trabaho as kargador or pahinante or whatever, which is so sad, no? So, okay. The average of farmers right now, I think mga 3 years, as I mentioned earlier, you know, last episode, asa mga 57, maybe about 58, 59 na siguro ngayon. Okay, so in short, we're looking at a massive drop in local food production in between 10 to 15 years or even sooner. Okay, if you don't address these problems. Okay, so what will happen? There will be a food shortage crisis. Okay, as we discussed earlier. So, yan. Napaka-critical na mga issues na yan, ano? Yung mga problems na yan, we need to address them one by one. So, in summary, okay, there is really this urgency to save Philippine agriculture. It's an urgent problem, okay, that everyone of us has to be involved with. Um, for me, you know, it will take the cooperation of farmers and the farmers cooperatives no magkaroon ng bet better practices ang mga farmers and uh, of course the department of agriculture and the local government agricultural office offices and the private sector so private sector meaning kahit tayo tayo okay or or certain companies can make, you know, do CSR projects to help out farmers. Aram ko marami na, marami ako nakikita who are doing that and uh, kudos to you guys. So the private sectors has to take it upon themselves okay, to step in because tayo lahat magkakasama sa isang boat na ito na malamang lulubog at magkakagulo kung hindi tayo magtulong-tulong dito. And last but not the least, the national agencies and uh, government, whoever is uh, is sa top level. But for me, I don't, I don't, ano eh, hindi ako, maraming problema ang inaasikaso on the national level yung mga yan, and hindi mo talaga may expect sila na sila mismo yung magtututok sa each and every farm or whatever. Sa local government yan, and also at the same time, sa private sector, we can each help our, you know, kung sino mga kakilala nating mga farmers, or maybe we can get in touch with, 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 uh, with some you know, mga kakilala natin in the provinces that, you know, we pull our resources together to help these farmers. So, okay, kami naman here, uh, we have Unipro Agri. So, we have, uh, we have uh, not only, we, we have training, we are organizing people, we are, we are uh, teaching and uh, sharing with uh, farmers on best practices with Agri and what are, you know, we also carry some products that uh, help reduce uh, input cost and increase, dramatically increase uh, yield, okay? And uh, yan, uh, uh, dyan kami nag-umpisa eh. So, dun, dun, dyan kasi namin nakita yung problema ng mga farmers when we were in the uh, field, no? So, okay, this is not all about the glory or the big rewards ang ginagawa na natin ngayon, okay? This is, you know, the, our future is at stake here, guys. Um, not only that, ako, I'm already 50 and, you know, I don't know up to when ang magiging uh, buhay ko, but ang mas iniisip ko yung children ko, their their future is at stake. Kung mahihirapan sila sa buhay nila, 
you know, because I did, I neglected to address certain issues then that is on my shoulders right now. That's why we are on this TV show. Okay. So, guys, join us. Uh, uh, we'll provide you a link if you want to be involved with our team, if you want to help us in this endeavor to save Philippine agriculture. Uh, sign up. Just, you know, just... Uh, it's in the comments, it's in the uh, description below where you can uh, access our website and you can send an email, shoot us an email or whatever and then we'll put you in our database. Uh, just, you know, if you want to send us an email and tell us what you can do and some ideas that you can suggest, then it would be seriously appreciated. Okay, so, um, so for next week, we'll look at those comments, we'll look at those, uh, 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 what do you call this? Uh, mga suggestions, no? And then, uh, we'll include it in our uh, talk next week on how we can practically solve this crisis of Philippine agriculture. So, next week, we're gonna talk about the solution and we're gonna also talk about how COVID has affected the agricultural sector here in the Philippines, no? So, yun lang, guys. So, ako, I'm, I'm always about proactive on what you st we stick with our circle of influence kung ano yung kaya natin gawin okay so anyway that's what we're going to be discussing next week so for now diretso na tayo sa programming and uh, by the way uh, ano tawag doon yung mga tao nagpapa shout outs I'm gonna have the shout out at the end of the program so you guys better you know uh, stay on the show okay let's roll Okay, so guys, good morning. Um, okay, we're with the group called uh, Gardening for Food in the Philippines. So ngayon, I have to produce food for my family. So talaga yung, yung reason namin for, for gardening is survival. So nag-start akong mag-garden to provide food for my family. So we're gonna show na garden na ano, ano yung garden niya. So, Ay, okay, Marcelo, show us your garden. Uh, this is my peanuts. Uh, oh, okay. wow. My peanuts. Uh, okay, mas maganda daw po ang peanuts. So, para bumalik yung pagtaba ng lupa. Okay, this is my peanuts. Wow. And my toothache plant. <laughs> my toothache plant. Pilantes. Right here. And my red cabbage. I will show you my red cabbage. Pwede rin pala sa Lucena. Ito po. A red cabbage. From uh, Mom uh, John din yata galing ito. <laughs> and my purple, my, my chili. Hindi pa nagbaray ito sa chili. Bago pala bumubunga. Yung red cabbage, very healthy yan. Sa anthocyanin. Oh. Antioxidants yeah. yan para sa katawan. Yeah. And my carrots. Wow. Very hot here in Lucena. Oh, I will try the uh, Oh, one carrots from uh, this is from John Milino from John from um, John Milino. Wow. Oh, okay. One carrot. Wow. 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 Oh, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> I forget me. And my okra, different okra. Mm -hmm. oh, this is the uh, whole garden. I started la planting again. Siguro baka two to three weeks magtatanim na ulit ako. And then um, one month para doon yung harvest. And another Peanuts. Talong na lang at kalabasa, may pinakbit na tayo. Yeah. And, chili from, <laughs> and my one variety of chili from Revelation. Thank you. Wow. Oh, nice. Uy, oh, Rev, ang ganda ng sili mo, Rev. Tengi hmm. din ako yan. Okay. And my blue, blue peas are natin. Right here. Blue peas? Blue peas, yeah. Right here. Oh, may wow. Blue. Wow. Oh, oh. Wow. And wow. string beans. And my from my tomatoes. Oh, wala ng bunga. From M, I guarded them. Uh, string beans. String beans. Uh, this is my whole garden. And I have a banana also. <laughs> oh, banana. oh yung, yung banana pala. Hindi pa na, <laughs> ano, sadya pala yun, ha? <laughs> Talagang may banana. <laughs> may banana pa. And my, uh, my beans. <laughs> Oh, my beans from Mam Jomelin also. 
Pwede rin lang sa Lucena ang Baguio Beans. Kailan tayo dito ng Lucena Beans na. Okay, this is my whole garden. And I will start it. Thank you. Okay, Thank okay. You. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, would you like to show your garden, Web? Something is equal. At yan yata, uh, ba, pag usually nag-double, pakit, uh, patay yung audio nung isa, Jomeline. Nakadalawa ka nung dyan. Yeah, nag-shift ako sa ano. So, <laughs> okay, buti nakamute na yung isa. So, uh, Marcelo, ah, let's see ka. Uh, hindi naka-double audio si Marcelo. So anyway, yeah, ano ko, yeah, highlight. Revelation, yeah, mag-mute please. Yan, so naka-spotlight na si Jomelyn. She's gonna show wow. us her garden. Yay! I'm going. It's okay, don't run. Baka mata pa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Wow, puro skin. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at all. Uh. Ang maliliit. So, you can... This is proof that you can do it in your backyard. Talaga. Yes. This is a likod ng bahay. Ginawa kong uh, nursery. Daanan yan. Wow. Ayan. Oh, oh. Wow. Yeah. Napaka. Radish ito. Pati sa ano ng uh, kapitbahay sa what's that? Walls. The walls. <laughs> Saka sa walls ng bahay. Meron din sila. This are my nursery. May mga fruit oh, wow. trees ako na nakalagay sa paso. No, they're ma- growing good. There. Nako, ang dami kong bibi. Dadagdagan na naman ng kaibigan ko sa Baguio. <laughs> Opo, bisita. <laughs> there. Sure, you will. Here. When we go there. Fennel. Oh. Wow. Ano Tony, you like, did you try fennel, Tony? Yeah, yeah, fennel yeah. Fennel is like oh, my I best chewing it. Ah. Masarap din sa pizza yan. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. just eating it raw. It's so good and crispy. Oh my yeah, God. Here. And sweet. <laughs> You're here making are my kale. Pizza, guys. Wow, look kale. at that. I have a very wow. big Brussels sprouts. Grabe. 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 Sobrang, ano, yeah. sobrang mayabong siya. Yeah. Wow, this is really... Isang very, very, very yeah. interesting. So, uh, one of our ano rin kasi, advocacy, dahil kasi nakikita kami, ang daming mga idle lots. Okay? Yeah. So, this this will encourage, you know, those people who have idle lots to to make it into gardens. Not only is it good for food, but it is oh, also yeah. good for carbon sequ- sequestration. No? So, yes. yung mga hangin for global warming. If we do it collectively, you know, it's going to make an impact. Eh. Absolutely. So imagine those, so all of those leaves are, are, you know, working towards the environment, eh, not only for our bodies. Ano yun, Gabby? This one is Gabby. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's Collecting. Taro. Oh my gosh. I and love that's it. And that's greens. Collard oh, greens. God, you oh. just don't, alam mo, hindi mo lagi nakikita yung mga ganyan sa supermarket, ha? No, hindi. No, no. Yeah, look at my, oh my God. And those are... Show him your, your kale. Look at that Toscana oh kale God. on the left. Oh, oh, yung asapos, yeah. you know? Yes. You know what, look guys? Look at that. Those really dark leafy greens are so rich in nutrients, oh, antioxidants, yes. and... They're super and, uh, food. Oh, oh, that's that's so healthy for you. And pipita oh, sitang, diba? And you have yeah. it already yes. on your... You, know, you can serve it to your family, to your guests, and imagine it... You know, with this, because each and every meal for us is an investment towards having good health or bad health. So, you know, every single day, naga accumulate yan, whether it's good or it's bad. So, might as well maging conscious sa mga tao that yeah. what they could be eating on a regular daily basis should be good for their body. Otherwise, look at that kale right there. Yeah. Nagugutom ako. I want them. <laughs> Sarap ng salad. <laughs> so, Tony, nakikita mo ito, ha? In, yeah, in, dapat so lang itong na, this, nandito. Yeah. I, dapat I, lang I, sila. Pero kadaming-daming members na ganito din ang ginagawa nila sa backyard nila. Alam mo, pag nakikita ko, I, I really see a, a, a huge thing on the horizon for all of us. And personally, I'm so great, grateful that you let me join the group, ano, na Nabuksan talaga lalo yung mata ko with all of this. And 
you know, dati before I was thinking na, oh, maybe I'll do that someday or gusto ko siyang gawin. Pero ngayon, naging No, perfect. just do it. Yeah, hindi sa akin ngayon. Before kasi it was like, I have so many um, occupations like uh, uh, sa business, uh, sa media, no? And then, nung nakita ko ito, it suddenly became a top priority for me to have my own yes. garden. You know, because right now I'm so dependent on the supermarket. I'm so dependent oh. on outside. Ano, where I don't really know where my food is coming from. Oh, ang ganda naman. So, Oops, we lost her. Oh, okay, there yeah, she is. There, she's there. She has wasabi. Oh my God, seriously, may wasabi? Yeah, she has wasabi. wasabi mustard. Yeah, oh, wasabi mustard. Ano ba yan? Yung wasabi mustard, yung root yan ng ginagamit, di ba? No, it's a must. Uh, uh, hindi hindi yung wasabi per se. It tastes like wasabi mo wasabi pero mustasa siya. Oh, uh, mustard, yeah. oh, mustard wow, green. that's an alternative <laughs> to the uh, to the root mustard that you buy. Actually, yeah. you know, that the that that real wasabi is so expensive in Japan. Yeah. That's why yung mga ano mga flavored wasabi na lang yan. They're they're just You know, yeah. stuff mixed together. It's not really real wasabi. If ever, konti lang laman ang wasabi. So, ano yun? Pag hinalo mo sa soy sauce, lasang wasabi talaga siya? Yung leaves? Yeah. Yung leaves. You can eat the leaves and it tastes like wasabi. Oh my you God. You have to grind it? Yeah. No, well, look at your cherry tomatoes. Oh my It's goodness. Oh my oh, wow. God. Uh -oh. Actually, a lot of people miss, have this misconception that Tomatoes are vegetables. No, they're actually fruits. Yes. Ang galing yes. naman. Oh my God. Look at all that. That's the truth. That oh. is all in my backyard. Ang galing. You know, I also told them that going to the market, try not to buy vegetables that are wrapped in plastic. <laughs> actually, question guys. Ano? When I go down to the Prombagyo, tubitigil ako dun sa roadside, sa ano, sa... Uh, ang tawag doon, na gilyan. Tapos di ba, ang dami-dami nagbebenta kasi ng veggies doon. Uh, are those veggies organic or not? Mm, no. Not, not. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, sige. No. Next time, next time pag-akyat kong Baguio, dadayo na lang ako kay Jo Milin or kay Akit uh, Kamarito. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bili na lang ako sa inyo ng gulay. <laughs> I have lemongrass here. Oh, oh, bring, Tony, you have to bring a cooler. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. I will. I, I, I need to invest in that in my Pajero. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I want to show you the pipino melon. It's a fruit. Wow. Uh -oh. show, him, show him the black tomato. Uh -oh. Where's the black tomato? Oh, it's done. It's finished. Oh. <laughs> There, I have kale. So, so just so you know, she, guys. Uh, Jumilin is also our master gardener. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, I'm not surprised. From what I'm seeing, I'm not surprised. <laughs> you yeah, can eat everything for her. free. Let us for free. Okay, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I'm on my way. Pagkatapos ng pandemic, akyat ako dyan. <laughs> so what so, happened is... Um, Here in the U.S. and in the Philippines, when you are called master gardener, you have to go through some kind of training and all that stuff and experience. But in our group, we declare our own. Yeah. So we have our own uh, two master gardeners that we declare as our master, which is Marcelo and Jumalin. Okay. Yeah, but they I, deserve it, though. Just, they just deserve it. to be called master. Wow. Oh, nga. Hindi. Ganun lang naman. You know, what? But is uh, the, that's the proof there, you know. If yeah. you don't, if you don't know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, then hindi ganon na magiging resulta. So, True. so a uh, question na ni direct pick is: Do we have a uh, formal training, or do we have a like ano, or or just uh, the kung ano lang ang ano itatanong mo lang or what not? Pero meron ba tayong structured training sa group? No, we don't. So what we do is somebody. Uh, People come in and ask, and and yeah. everybody who is an expert who has experience, they run right away and answer. Great experience. Okay. Great experience. Um, yeah. Yes, and then uh, we through like, experience they they suggest they suggest what to do, and okay, that's how so, we roll in this group. Nice, nice. And, nice. A nice tra uh, a structured training would be really awesome, but we can do that maybe after 
after COVID. Yeah, you know what, kasi because we also have a, we're also setting up an online school. Okay, ah. so this online school is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, we're making it to be very affordable for people to access. And ah. instead of ano, instead of like um uh live training, we can actually put their videos of you guys, you know, kung sino yung gustong mag-participate as a mentor. So, we can talk about it in the future, no? So, uh, that's, it, that's good. We're planning to launch it around supposedly April, but what can we do in this April time na quarantine, di ba? So, yeah, everybody's, is, you know, not so in. limited. Uh, so, yeah. So, ngayon, um, ano tawag doon? Anybody wants to show their garden? Uh, Rev? Okay. Uh, Rev has not shown his garden. Uh, okay. I, I cannot show you my garden kasi medyo mahina ang reception doon. Okay. So, pictures na lang po. Pictures na lang. Show us some pictures. Uh, Jovely. Uh, I'm going to, wow, ang ganda nung ano. I'm going to, ano ha, uh, move the spotlight to Rev. We've already seen how very, very nice the uh, garden, food garden of uh, Jomeline is from Baguio. So, okay, I'm gonna replace the spotlight to Rev. Rev, you have the screen? Okay. So, so, ganito. Okay. So, lahat ng mga pang ko ay nasa container. Kasi gawa right. na... Oo, kasi syempre, hindi naman ako aral talaga sa pagtatanim. Minsan, mali yung pinagtanimang ko. So, I have to transfer. <laughs> yung advantage ng container gardening. Oo, oo, oo. So, yan, yan yung mga anak ko. Yan yung mga tanim ko. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, 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 mahilig ako dun sa mga ano, sa mga leafy kasi kailangan ko siya. Gawa ng uh, naoperahan ako. Mm-hmm. So, so, kailangan leafy ang kakainin ko. Yun. Anong naoperahan ka with what condition, uh, Rev? Sa kidney stone po. Oh, okay, okay. Kaya po yan, nag-trans- ang ginawa ko po, kasi nung di puputok yung vulkan, parang ganun eh, may threat na puputok ulit yung vulkan. And then I have to transfer everything sa rooftop. <laughs> so yeah, rooftop ko. Yan, ah, roof, rooftop yan? Yes. I know, <laughs> so, the rooftop is so weird, right? <laughs> oh, oh. Kala ko, ano, kasi may manga pa eh. <laughs> Pero yung pala, ano, yero yung andito, no? Yero yung dun, yung red part. So, so yan. Kaling. Oh. Oh, okay, so, malapit ka lang sa akin, Rev. Okay, oh, talisay ka lang. Delikado ka sa akin, bibisitahin kita, ha? <laughs> Pero to transfer everything sa rooftop, kaya po yan, puro ganyan ang kong ko. Ito po yung, ito yung ano ko, tawag doon, yung mga herbs. Herbs ko yan. Marami siya. Oh, wow. Wow, iba-ibang... Wow. Yeah. Pang cooking, no? I see uh, your oregano, your basil. Yan. Ito yung, ito yung ground... Garden ko noon kasi I have to transfer everything sa rooftop ngayon. Kasi medyo lilim na siya ngayon. So, mas maganda yung kwan sa taas. Pero actually, kahit siya nasa ground, actually, container gardening pa rin ako. Kasi nga, laging ano, laging yung kasiguraduhan na container gardening, gardening ako. Tapos, lahat yan, naka-container yan, kahit, naka, kahit vines, lahat siya, ganun. Okay, at nakompleto ko yung bahay kubo. Wow! Eh, may pang pinakbet na tayo. <laughs> Meron yung, tayo pang pinakbet, Rev. <laughs> vines malala- yung mga vines malalaki yung container, malalaking mga sako yan. Oh! Oh, so kala ko, kala ko overgrown lang siya, pero food din siya. Oh, so hindi siya, hindi siya, mukha siyang ano yan? Uh, kalabasa? Ano yan? It's bataw and patani. Oh, okay. Cool. So, so Revelation is putting together a Bahay Kubo, a Bahay Kubo seeds collection. Okay. And uh, he's trying to, you know, revive it and give it away to people. Oh, wow. Members, some wow. members, yes. Galing, galing. Isang puno ko ng bataw, uh, ano, yeah. na-distribute all around the Philippines. Isang puno ng bataw, isang puno ng patani. <laughs> Nakarating from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And Mindanao, yes. Ang galing. Ang galing. I love it. So, uh, who, who else can show us their... Meron pa ba? Meron pa ba magpapakita ng farm nila? No, that's it. That's it. That's we, it. We've that's covered it. everyone. Okay. Oh, we've covered everyone. Another suggestion that uh, Vic post on the chat, no? Sabi niya, 
ang galing din ng ano, ang galing din ng gardening. Side effect of us gardening is uh ang tawag doon, um uh, is being exposed to the sun. Yeah. Sad word. Exposed to the sun. <laughs> It's okay. 'Di ba? So when when you're gardening, hindi mo namamalayan that uh you're you're actually being exposed to the sun which is a rich source of vitamin D. So alam yes. uh, based on research, okay, si COVID uh, if you have high levels of vitamin C in the blood, mas uh, mas kayang i uh, i-counter ng katawan mo ang COVID virus. And also at the same time, eh, since you guys are, you know, consuming nutrient dense, ibig sabihin very nutritious foods. That means your bodies are uh, well equipped to handle the the uh, the uh, any sort of uh, pathogen or something that can cause disease. So, anyway, guys, uh, ano pa ba? Now, question. One by one, give me your top two vegetables that are easiest to uh, start with as a beginner. So, starting with this. Oh, here in the U.S., it uh, depends on the climate. So, it's lettuce. It's very easy. Um, and then, but still, because I'm in Florida, bok choy, Mm, so okay, those two. string beans, yeah. String beans, okay. So, yeah. uh, Rev, ikaw, sa experience mo, ano ang uh, pinakamadali mong napalaki na hindi ka masyadong binigyan ng sakit ng ulo? Um, pechay. <laughs> pechay. Yeah, pechay. Pechay. Because I needed pechay kasi lagi eh. Ah, okay. So, madali lang siya. Madali lang siyang itanim at palakihin. Hindi siya ma- okay. mapusisi. Opo, kasi sabi ni... Kahit maliit pa, hina-harvest ko na pag needed na. Ganun mm-hmm. ang nangyari sa akin. Okay. What's your number two? Uh, number two ko, syempre, mustasa and the beans. Mustasa yeah. and the beans. Alright, alright. Okay. Uh, Tito Marge. Tito Marge, ano Hi. ang top two? What are your top two easiest to start with the veggies na itatanim ng beginner? Uh, I started with lito and its tribes. And uh, kamote. Kamote talaga. Uh, oh, talaga uh, very robust <laughs> kamote, no? Very healthy. It's yes. they call it the musical fruit. Yeah. Kamote humor lang, guys. The musical fruit. Okay, let's move forward to uh Sir Marcelo of Lucena, uh, what's your top two suggestions uh, to start with? Okra and sitaw. Yeah, okra and like sitaw. This. So, madali. So, mag- guys, makikita nyo iba-iba, no? So, hindi siya, uh, ang tawag doon, um, it does not, ang dami yung pwedeng pagpilihan kung anong gulay mo pala. Yes. Oo. Yes, so, siya kasi ng umpisa. Yes, sa okra and sitaw. And kamote also. Kamote. Kamoting kahoy and yung kamote. Kamote and kahoy. Okra and wing beans. Galing. Galing. Wing beans, huh? May second time is yung uh, carrots. I tried carrots. Kung mga madadaling, ha? Madadaling palakihin yan. Hmm. Oh, that Carrot, is small from uh, to the soil. Then after that, after six months, you can have this. Wow. And with gabi too. Gabi oh. also. Wow, that's your carrots? Thanks, Ma'am Jomilin. Oh from This the backyard. This is from Ma'am Jomilin Oloan. <laughs> so, our other master gardener, Miss Jomilin, what can you, uh, you know... Uh, yes. uh, sa akin naman is beans. You can plant beans and after two months, harvest na. Ah. At dito sa Baguio, dahil malamig, ang pinakamadali talaga kahit ilagay mo lang sa gilid, sayote. Sayote. Oh, yeah. 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 I have. Sabi nila ito sayote dito. Pag kumakain ka daw ng sayote, na high blood ka. Yan. Yan oh. ang joke dito. Bakit? Uh-huh. Eh, syempre nga naman, pag araw-araw sayote ang ulo, ma high blood ka nga. <laughs> <laughs> joke lang yun. Joke lang. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Beans so, and sayote. Oh, so, lahat tayo nakapakita na ng ano, no? Or what are... Okay. The next is... Uh, Is there any business potential of what you guys are doing? So, uh, Tess, can you please uh, share with us uh, yung business perspective nito, if ever? Well, for for me, I, I'm not expecting any business potential for me. But people, I always say, this this group is is not for business. But it is an opportunity for them to 
to sell seeds, to sell the extra so they can actually yeah. make, you know, the, if they have surplus vegetables, they don't have to trash it. They can give it or to sell or sell it. So the priority uh, so, is really self-sustenance ng mga pamilya natin, no? Yeah, so this is really for, for a group for food. And then if you have extra, you can do whatever you want. Okay. You know, uh, you could sell your seeds or because it's so hard to find seeds in the Philippines. And if you produce good quality seeds that are organic and heirloom, that's why every time I send seeds there, I make sure I try my best to send, to send heirloom seeds. So that way it will produce seeds. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So if they keep producing seeds, they can actually turn it into a business as well and supplement their income. So that way it's not just food. They can also supplement there with other, you know, income so they can buy other things. Okay. So I'll move the spotlight to Rev right now. So Rev, any experience with the business side of it? Have you, have you, uh, pero alam ko kasi mabait ka, you're just, sending it ano nagko-contribute ka lang nagsi-share ka lang actually i don't i don't sell anything i uh, just yeah. lang tapos kapag merong nanghihisa ka nagre-request ng mga seeds so binibigay ko sa kanila okay? tapos ganun i tapos, so love these giving food dahil kasi pastor si Rev no <laughs> yeah wala lang natutulog kila kang puso niyan kasi ano lang eh gusto ko encourage din kasi yung mga tao, lalo sa amin dito sa lugar namin, na pumutok yung bulgan. Yung iba mm-hmm. yung kasi sabi nila na mamatay yung mga tanim nila. Tapos sabi nila hindi lumalaki, hindi nagbubunga. Sabi ko, ito sa akin, no? hindi mo kailangan magtanim sa, direkta sa lupa. Pwede ka sa container. Di ba? Ganon kasi. Kaya, na, kaya nag-stay ako doon sa container gardening to encourage everyone dito sa aming lugar na mag-container gardening kayo kung ayaw nyo ng direct sa lupa. O yung hmm. iba kasi ginilang scrape pa nila yung i-scrape pa nila yung lupa nila. Kasi yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, medyo oh, makakalipalabo. Oo, oh, oh. tapos minsan yung problema pa nung mga, yung mga root pests, di ba? Yeah. Masyadong masigit yung lupa. So, kailangan nilang i-scrape off yung lupa. So, ako, nagbibigay ako ng, ng hope sa kanila, we can plant here. Yes. So, yes. Wala ng pag-asa. Okay, sinudo ay mga paraan ko na yung rooftop o yung bubong nyo, gamitin nyo. Yung mga members natin dito, so binibigyan ko sila ng seeds, pati mga padala from Magdomilin, yan. Talagang napaka, mga kakaiba talaga, rare yung varieties na nanggaling sa kanya mga Good seeds. Pero uh-huh. tutupin nila yung seed sharing. So napaka yes. nasagot na to. Tapos yun nga, sabi ko nga, hindi mo kailangan na, hindi mo kailangan na iasa lagi sa government yung pagkain mo. You can produce your own So I don't sell. Gusto ko ma-inspire sila to plant more. So judging That's from the nice. uh, judging from the you know, I don't think I have to go with that line already. So most of the people here have the heart of charity, no? And to help other people. So But there is uh, nothing wrong with selling, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, it, there's, there's nothing extra, wrong. Extra, you can always extra, sell if diba? you want. It's oh, nice that, to give and share, but it's okay also to share to sell. Oh, oh. Maybe not you, but others is fun. May, may ano ka rin eh, may iba kang items na hindi mo makukuha sa garden, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. it, it, uh, it, anyway, so, uh, this is very good. Okay, so I can see a lot of these guys, you guys are success stories already when it comes to gardening for yes. food, no? So anyway, um, we're about to close. So, question, the final question, uh, or final, uh, yeah, ano ang mga pinaka takeaways or pinaka market what two tips that you can give to wannabe gardeners so start with Miss Tess what tips can you give up if you wanna start out gardening well start with a good soil um, and you can enrich soil and you don't have to buy anything and um, really start composting You can cut your grass at home and compost it. Any any leaves that you have, don't 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 um, you know make fire out of them or don't burn your leaves. Make compost. Um, so if you're a new gardener, start doing that. All right. Okay. So uh, that's it. So uh, because we're about to run out of time, Sir Rev. Okay. 
What's your top one or two tips to gardening? Okay, so nakita yung from Ma'am Tess, it's the soil, the secret. <laughs> yung okay. soil talaga. Dapat inourish mo talaga siya maging healthy. Pangalawa yung sunlight. Kaya inilipat, inilipat ko lahat doon sa rooftop kasi ang ganda ng sunlight niya. Kasi sabi ko nga, dito sa amin, problema yung soil, pero naghukay ako, gumawa ako ng parang. So I, I guess ang pinaka-tip that comes from your experience or from what I've seen from you is kung hindi mo basta makontrol ang soil mo, mag-container gardening ka. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, ayan. So, again, uh, so those are actually mas more inclined ako dyan because of our scenario here in Manila, no? Na mag-container. So, our next master gardener, Miss Jomeline, can you please give us your final one or two tips? It's say uh, seed seed banking for me. Save seeds talaga. Doon ang umpisa eh. Pag wala kang seed, wala kang may tatanim. Yan. Okay, so seed banking importante for yes, sustainability. Yes, importante yan. Oo. Okay. So we're going to move the spotlight now to Mr. Marcelo. As per your experience, Marcelo, ano ang top okay. one or two tips mo? Okay, the first secret para sa akin ay yung soil mix of different soil like vermicas, compost, at yung limang test compost soil, mga magsusunog ng mga weeds, ginagawin mo itong fertilizer. And yung fermented fruit juice, mga ginagamit natin, spray fermented fruit juice, uh, fermented blood juice, yun yung makikita ko mga oh, okay. secret magpaganda ng halaman. Oo, oh, nakikita ko nga dati yan, noon na yung FPJ, fermented blood juice, no? <laughs> okay. Oh, so, okay, medyo choppy si Mr. Marcelo, pero not, naiintindihan naman, naiintindihan naman, ano? So, we're gonna move the spotlight next to Tina Margie of Baguio, please. What's your... Hi! What's, ano Give us one or two tips. Oh, uh, the first thing that I always say to everyone who wants to start gardening is to love what do you do? Okay. Love gardening, <laughs> love planting, and do not just keep it to yourself. You have to include your children. Yes. Yes, yes. So yes. include your family into the, uh, no, no? Uh -oh. Yes. Uh, last two weeks, I was invited in the barangay to, to say something to encourage the young mothers. Uh, maybe just to say something about myself and uh, about my children, how they became successful. And I went there and I just kept talking about gardening. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was really, really crazy. But I just kept saying, okay, please, uh, uh, if you don't have a lot to plant, you can use your timba or your or or the or the basin, na sira -sira, or anything, uh, water container to plant. And then I, I will give you seeds. I promised them to give okay. them seeds. I don't even have seeds. <laughs> but okay. I, so, but okay. I have produced already. Oh, uh, magpapa LBC na ako sa inyo ng mga seeds, ha? <laughs> Thank you. I will share it to the barangay, promise. Yung, yung ano, yung, uh, yung ano ko kasi, yung, uh, okay, I'm gonna move the spotlight to me. Okay. So, guys, uh, ako, you know, um, if you have seeds na like lettuce mga gaya, pag-usapan na lang natin of the mm -hmm. seed. Because I have a, a uh, like, ano to, parang one by one kata isa. So parang two by one space siya. And these are just laundry cages. Dito namin nilalagyan ng mga damit na pinapatuyo. But I have, uh, I have a, uh, uh, an automatic washing machine na. So iniisip ko kung yung cages ko, pwede ba yon na one by two? lalagyan ko lang ng mga container siya. Pwede na ako mag magpalaki nun kahit limited amount of like lettuce or mga salad greens or what not, right? Yes. Yeah, I'd be surprised how much yeah. you can produce with that. Wow. Sige, sige. I'm looking forward. So malamang ang tutulong talaga sa akin dyan for container will be Rev, right? Yes. Kasi yung yeah. challenge ko mga kasi talaga lagi sa mga members, you don't have a big space, you can start with a small space. Meron pa nga yung one, meet, one by one meter, ano? Uh, Ayo, <laughs> challenge. Okay. 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 I'll take that as a challenge. So, uh, anyway, guys. Um. Uh, okay. From again, we're closing now, guys. So I'll put the spotlight to Miss Tess. Miss Tess, thank you very much for you know giving us your time and inviting your team 
you know, to share, you know, your information, valuable information with us when it comes to gardening for food. So, will you have final words for us, please? Well, thank you so much for giving us time as well. And we, we really would like to, to thank, you know, the four members that have made time to join us. And thank you for giving us exposure so that way we can do some more outreach to the people who oh, really are the garden. Our, our TV show is called Let's Agree to Agree. <laughs> oh, yes. I actually yeah. just messaged them about uh, five minutes before the show started, uh, the interview started, and I told them that this is the uh, name of the program. Yeah. Which is really, I, I really like the name already. <laughs> so you. I hope that we can do uh, projects together in the future. Let's do that. Let's do that. Kami din gusto namin kasi we're, we're also espousing or promoting food sustainability. Yeah. Yes. Right now, agriculture right now is taking a big hit from all of what's been happening, you know, both mm -hmm. on the industrial scale and what's been policies in the government and whatnot. So, mm -hmm. yeah, diba? So I think each of us should be more proactive on food production, especially if it means our families going hungry. Diba? Yes. No one will go hungry if you if you plant food. Yeah, so no guys, one. that's it. Uh, salamat, Ms. Tess. Salamat, uh, team salamat of Garden for Food in the Philippines. And uh, this is your friendly neighborhood coach, Coach Tony of Let's Agree to Agree. We just concluded this uh, Zoom meeting with uh, the team of uh, Miss Tess and the rest of Gardening for Food in the Philippines. So guys, follow their links. You know, we're going to be presenting this also on social media and all the other, uh, our website. Definitely, we're going uh, to have this in our blog. So all of the links there, if you want to join, if you want to learn more about Gardening for Food, you know, you can click on the links or you can just search on Facebook about gardening for food in the Philippines. So, uh, also, guys, uh, of gardening for food, if you would uh, li ano, like us also, let's agree to Agri page and okay. uh, follow sure. our website and everything. So, guys, thank you very well. much. Thank you. This has been such an enlightening uh, Zoom meeting for all of us, actually. So, we also have, oh, we have. Big. We also have uh, gardens there, potential garden just sa likod at harap natin, ano, sa apartment office. So, looks like we're gonna be a little bit busy in making our own food. So, that's it for now. Okay, so this is Coach Tony signing off. And now, yung mga hinihintay ninyo, guys. So, ito na yung mga shoutouts natin, ano. So, <clears throat> Without further ado, okay, sige. Let's uh, uh order of no importance. Okay. Um number 1 si ano, Eugene June Ignacio. Yan kasi kadala ano, matalik na kaibigan ko sa car community. So uh sikat and uh, magaling na uh, driver and carerista four wheels. Also uh yung business partner ko in Antique and friend sa motorcyclo is also Neil Francis Alagos. Of course, the Gardening for Food people, Ms. Tess Martin in Florida, Rev Palado in uh, in Batangas, Margie Gina in, in uh, Baguio with Jomelin Oloan and Marcelo Alivia. Also, my uh, great friend and brother, Attorney Greg and Lian Tayona. Okay, dyan sila banda sa South Manila. And of course, mga kasamahan natin sa Green Power Moto Nozzle. Uh, inventor Romel Bernardo, close friend of mine, Makmak Pangilinan, our technical and friend also, and Gaylin Kiera. Okay, uh, of course, yung mga staff ko sa Unipronor, si, uh, si Gina and si Marge. Okay, so you, you guys know who you are, and uh, of course, si Direct Vic. No need, <laughs> siya na yan, eh. andyan sa likod ng camera. Okay. Um, ride buddies, Freddy Imson, Rastras Monte, Bert Chan, Mike Ong, etc., etc. Ang dami ng, uh, ang mga kasama ko sa uh, Escol Tambay. Of course, definitely hindi dapat mawala si uh, Royal Enfield North uh, Club. And uh, of course, si Mote Cycle Garage yung gumagawa sa aking Royal Enfield. Um, there's uh, Tay and Jam Abaya. Ron Hilario, great friend. Brian Chang, DJ Mars Miranda. Yes, the Mars Miranda is... 
part of our uh, family, uh, Royal Enfield family. Doc Val, Verdote, yung ipin ko, pakigawa. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the actor Mark Junisio, Russell Lim, uh, basketball player, great friend of mine, also Royal Enfield rider. And dami, so we cannot enumerate. Uh, su sunod na kayo. Okay, and of course, uh, the people and the uh, the uh, people behind Royal Enfield, uh, Hardcore Brothers. Um, there's uh, Jimmy Barinaga and uh, Oni Pagkalinawan. So, parami salamat sa aking Mr. Clean na Uh, GT650. So, that's it for now, guys. So, yan lang muna mga shoutout natin for now. So, next week ulit, abangan ninyo. You know, just PM me kung gusto nyo ma-mention ang pangalan nyo. Okay. Don't forget to follow Coach Tony on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.